What is up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to a little video, I hope it's little anyways, but I have been tagged in this thing, I guess you can call it, and it is like information about myself, and it's it's like 10 facts about me, basically, and what it is, it's, it's like hashtag the person behind the games, I was tagged by Demanda, he was tagged I believe by Winter Zan, and I appreciate that he tagged me in this, and I have twin, t uh, twin, I have twin. I have ten questions in front of me uh, on this piece of paper here. I have them in the order that I want, and I will, might as well bring this up, but I re already recorded this once, and right after I recorded it, no, not even a day after, I was about to edit it and then my laptop crashed because of some update it wanted to do, and then it messed up the BIOS. Yeah, I basically have to send it in. I thought there was an easy fix because I found an article online and it was just a matter of pressing a few buttons, but that didn't work. And right now I'm having an issue with HP. Yes, it is HP that I have. Um, not, the, not the computer I'm using now. This is an, I think an Acer. I don't know. It's in it's in a case, anyways. I, I'm using an Acer monitor. I think it's AMD components that's in it. But but they're supposed to send me this box, and it's supposed to be one day shipping. And they told me that two weeks ago. I've already called in twice asking what is up with this box, and I still haven't gotten it. And they're like, "Oh, we're so sorry. We don't know why this keeps happening." And it's like the usual stuff. But I'm only sending it in because it's in warranty and it's free. And I just want my laptop back because. Once I get it back, I'm giving it to my mom for the summer. I am getting her computer, and then whenever I go to move out, she is going to get her own little laptop, and then I get both computers. So in, in, it's all going to work out. I'm doing my best right now with this, but I can't quite move it into my room. So you guys are probably hearing an echo right now because of what's behind me, but I apologize for that. It shouldn't be much longer. It's just I'll move this in my room whenever the laptop gets fixed, as long as HP behaves. But anyways... Let's move on to the questions. So number 10 is my IGN. IGN stands for in-game name, and my in-game name is Bearded Kitty. That all started out with a nickname from high school. Uh, before it was my last name and Kitty, because my email was my last name and Cat. It, it just caught on and it kept going, and then they kind of made a few changes throughout the days. And then one that wasn't said a lot, but kind of kind of stuck with me anyways was Bearded Kitty and before my YouTube channel was called Jeffrey underscore 1919 and then when Bearded Kitty came around I was like that is very unique so I thought I gotta excuse me I gotta change my channel to that name but I couldn't because you can only do a custom URL uh, once I think in your lifetime for that account basically so I had to create a new account and I'm glad I picked that name I'm sticking with that name and um I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. I mean, I've been using it for everything that's involved with online so far, like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, um, everything. Number nine is I'm a cat person, and I'm pretty sure it's been obvious, but I just, I really like cats. <laughs> I mean, I have one. We had a dog before, but he passed away due to old old age. He, I really loved him because he was a bit of a unique dog. His personality was not like any other dog I've, I've met. And he was with me since I was a kid, and or basically since I was born, really. He was, I think, a year older than me. And I'm still heartbroken sometimes when I see some of his pictures, but there was that. And we also had two cats before. Um, my cat a while back gave birth to kittens and when we gave them away my mom wanted to keep one for herself and then we moved here and we don't know what happened to him exactly but one night he just never came back and yeah there was a few there's a bit of a story that I won't get into right now but we think that he got caught in our neighbors hunting traps I think there were rabbit traps or rabbit snares and because we, we went down there and he came out and was basically defending his property so to speak and he had a shotgun on him and he didn't seem too happy so that's all we're assuming right now but that was quite a few years back but right now all I have is Callie and that is the cat that I have now if you don't know what if you want to know what she looks like just look in my profile picture that is her you just 
picture her without the beard, basically. <laughs> Number eight is my age. I am currently 18 years old. I just graduated. I actually have my diploma and stuff. Um, I think I won a trophy too, and it was for perseverance and determination, I believe. And my birthday is in December, and I will be turning 19 then. And the great thing about turning 19 is my lucky number is 19, and my birthday is on the 19th of December, and I was born in 1996, and I used to live at, um, in River John, and my civic address was 1919. So I'd look, I've seen that as a sign, and I just, it's my lucky number from then on. And also, I will be moving out soon, as I keep mentioning, and I think, I thought it was mid-August, but it is for sure end of August that I'm moving out, and there might be a few changes then, but for now I'm hoping that things work out and I can pick up on doing videos for you guys once again. Number seven is my life is basically the internet. And what I mean by that is most of my friends are on, I've met online and we still to this day talk on Skype and get into Skype calls and stuff. And most of my spare time is on the computer, whether it's editing videos while listening to music online, or just browsing the internet, looking for things, watching videos, um, especially the Minecraft community, which is what got me started with getting into making YouTube videos. And before I always said, I'm doing YouTube, but now, like, I know I only have about 60 subscribers, but that's still more than I was expecting. And I mean, it's such a small number, but I'm glad to have 60 subscribers. And I, t I, every time that I gain another subscriber and I, that we keep growing, I, I don't know. I just it makes me want to continue, and I want to be able to keep making videos for you guys. And now I end up saying that I'm making videos for you guys, like the people that are watching this video right now. I don't know all your names, obviously, because I've never really met you guys, but. I appreciate that you guys watch my videos, and I hope that by the end of the summer I can reach 100 subs, and it is kind of my goal for right now, but just thank you in general. Number six, yeah, six, <laughs> I can't count on my fingers now, but number six is how I base my content, and like I mentioned before, I watched Minecraft, and they were what got me started with making videos, and... I was basing my content off of how they did it, and they were doing it more so in a let's play manner no matter what game it was. They weren't editing all that much unless it was like the loading screen took a half hour or something and they'd cut that out. But I noticed that my videos are too long, and thanks to Demanda, he has shown me how to uh, edit my videos, and especially with the audio I'm now using Audacity, like you will be able to tell with this video. And I appreciate it very much that he's helped me out. I think I've already mentioned it once in the update video that I had. Yeah, I'm basically changing. There will still be Let's Play styled videos like Life is Strange or other games of that style. But everything else like um, Counter-Strike is a bit tough, but maybe just putting in the best parts. But um, Counter-Strike, Gmod, Minecraft, depending on what kind of games or what we're doing with Minecraft. Um, GTA 5, a bunch of other stuff. Obviously with live streams I can't quite cut it out and I'm trying to live stream now with on YouTube so it automatically uploads but the thing is if it depends how long the live stream is but I can't basically I can't edit it. Um, I could, there's probably a way but I just it's a live stream so I'm just gonna leave it that way. Basically it's a, it's a VOD that's uploaded to the channel. So I'm rambling on now, I apologize for that, and I will try not to do it for too much. Number five is my setup, and as you probably know, I've been using a laptop. I've been using my, you might hear me move it, but I've been using my, there it goes. I'm using my uh, blue snowball ice, it has a sock on it right now. I should probably change the sock because it has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of, hairs on it from my cat, but she hasn't been able to come up on this desk, so it's fine. And also, the, sorry, the chair keeps creaking. I used to have a wooden chair, which wasn't all that comfortable. It all had was a pillow on it, but then mom gave me this chair, but now it's creaking a lot, so I may have to get a new chair, but 
I don't know if I'm going to get like DX Racer style chairs because they, excuse me, they seem really good. But the thing is, it's really expensive. I mean, there is another one called uh, Need for Seat. That's their website. I don't know if the chair is called that, but um, it's basically DX Racer style chairs, but a little cheaper. They look a little cheaper as well, but they seem still good for its use, basically. Num number four is my life so far, and I started... I don't want to ramble on too much about it because there, there was a lot that happened in my life, but what I'll just bring up the important pieces, basically. But when I was maybe 10, maybe a little younger, I started PC gaming because... Uh, my parents had two computers. One, they had a business, and they used one for the business, and the other one was for personal use. I used most of the one for personal use, but I started PC gaming actually when I was a child because there was—I remember there was this kid game and it involved colors and letters and numbers and stuff. But um, I enjoyed playing on computers, even though the monitors back then were basically a gigantic box, and they were almost like the TVs too. Like the, the old TVs had a. Uh, like a vacuum tube or something in them, they called them. I can't remember, but they would explode and stuff, but uh, especially when you hit them. And now we've got like the, the the computer monitors are becoming like flat screen TVs. They're becoming thinner and eventually they're just going to be like as thin as a piece of paper and very fragile, but um, I'm rambling again. <laughs> I'm sorry. But back to the subject. I. The. Again, the very first gaming, the very first game for PC that I played was that kids game that I mentioned before, and then it moved on to I think it was Tonka Trucks. I, I can't remember what the, exactly the game was called, but it came in a cereal box. I don't know if any of you had that before, but remember you buy those cereal boxes, and there was a little a see-through circle in the front, and it was a disc about like that. It was like the, the tiniest thing, but it still went into the disc tray because there's a smaller circle in the disc tray for that disc. And there was, I remember, uh, Wheel of Fortune, there was, um, what's another one? Uh, oh, the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I believe? Is that the first, or 2? But anyways, um, like, I, I got so into Roller Coaster Tycoon, and then I, back when I was a kid, I was so into trucks as well, like, 18 wheels, 18 wheels, 18 wheelers. Uh, and then there was this game called 18 Wheels of Steel, Pedal to the Metal. And my gra I think it was my grandmother that got me that for a Christmas one year. And I literally played that every single day. And I almost bet the game. I got to one point where I was like, oh, you are now a billionaire. You no longer uh, suffer from money, basically. But um, I was ne I, there was prestiges, and you have to get... It goes up to 100 I never got to 100, I think the highest I got was 95, and that was after dropping the game and picking it back up again from where I left off, but I'm hoping, I still have that game somewhere in my drawers, uh, my desk drawers I'm talking about, not, no, <laughs> but um, there's that, and there's a few other games, but I want to eventually pick them up again, play, maybe play them in a live stream or something, and I don't know, I just... Someday, I want to save it for when I'm a little more popular. I don't want to just do it now and have like five people watch. I mean, I appreciate those five people watching it, but I want to, for something like that, I want a bigger audience. I don't, I don't mean to sound greedy, but I just, I feel like it would be more entertaining for them. I don't want to do it now and then have nothing for my bigger audience. I mean, there would be other games to play, especially because they keep coming out, like new games, but yeah. Going through the school here was tough. I dealt with a lot of bullying, and I had a lot of breakdowns. And I don't know. One thing left after the one thing left at one thing led after the other. Is that how it said? One thing led to the other. I don't know. I words. <laughs> oh my god. Basically, I had a tough time, and uh, I don't know. I just. I had the wrong people as friends. If you ever find that your friends aren't that good, you're always being pissed off or something, try and look for new people, because literally, when I was halfway through my last year, um, I met this group of people, and they were basically gamers, and 
I wish I had met them so many years ago because um, if you're watching this, you know who you are, you know who I'm talking about, but I don't know, I just wish I was with them before, and I mean, I'm glad I met them when I did, uh, I kind of separated myself from my classmates, but there is one classmate that, um, he was a fairly good friend compared to the others, uh, if you're watching this, you know who you are, um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm glad to be done with school. I'm glad to be moving on. I'm glad to be having a new start when I am off to university. I hope to also meet someone because I've been single for so long. I did meet someone over the internet, but it was a very distant relationship. I wish it wasn't so distant, but I was sort of glad that she was there for that little period of time. We're not together anymore, but um, I was glad that I met her for a little period of time that we were together because it did kind of not make me feel alone and I don't know, it just kind of got me through the end of high school but right now I'm single again and if you're wondering, yes, I am a virgin I don't usually tell people that, but yes, I am a virgin but I hope to meet someone in university I might meet a few people considering I'm there for four years but I don't know, I just just too lonely. <laughs> so number three is my childhood games. I already talked about the bit. It was the kids game that I started with and it was uh, those cereal box games and then it was uh, 18 with the steel, pedals of the metal, the truck simulator basically. And then there was another one that was another, it's, there's a, 18 with the steel is a truck simulator series. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you can buy them in a bundle or you can buy them separately. I think I have at least two. There's one I think it's Convoy, it's called. Um, then there's a few other games that I can't quite think of. Right now I'm playing like Gary's Mod, Daisy, all that stuff, but yeah. Number two, I can't quite talk about it right now. I didn't realize it was still in the list, but that was my girlfriend. And we're no, again, we, we're no longer together. We basically broke up like right after I did the first recording and this is my second, but, um, yeah, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm single. I've already mentioned that. Moving on. We're getting to the end. Number one. And that is that big ass break that I've taken and have not been uploading like I wanted to before. That was due to school and work, it was very stressful, and I just had to, I had to do everything else before YouTube, especially because my parents are always like, you gotta do your priorities first before you have your fun time, and I'm thinking, well, YouTube, according to me, is a very high priority, but yeah, I kind of agree with them at sometimes, and I want to do other stuff first. Um, I'm looking out the window and all I see is my parents are gardening and my grandmother is sitting in a lawn chair watching them work. <laughs> but yeah, it's just been very busy, but I hope to be back on schedule very soon. Literally the second I get my laptop back, I will be back on schedule. And also, depending on this new job that I hopefully and maybe and probably might get, I have no idea. It's my friend referred me and... It seems like an easier job, but at the same time, it's more hours, Monday to Friday. I have, wait, my weekend's off, and uh, more hours Monday to Friday, and it'd be $11 an hour rather than minimum wage, which is ten sixty, dollars I believe, in Nova Scotia right now. And I don't know, I think I'd be able to still do YouTube with that job. I mean, I can, I'd come home and do stuff after work or after supper but uh, on weekends I might have to like I don't know say Saturday and just record everything and then upload everything Sunday night and then it'd be like schedule uploads for the whole week or something but that might be a little hectic I don't know I might try and do like maybe one video I might try and record one video a day after work and then on the weekends edit and then upload and then just keep doing it because that's kind of what I was doing before but it was a little bit all over the place and um, also right now I have the lawn mowing and if I don't sell the business then I'm just gonna be super busy and I don't know I'm just a busy guy in general but I'm doing it for the money but again once I go off to university hopefully I don't know I just it's too much almost but I want to keep doing YouTube I'm 
trying my hardest not to give up. I mean, I don't want to give up. I'm, what I mean by that is, I'm not. I'm trying not to let work and everything else uh, take up my entire time. But I'm working my way around it, and one day, eventually, I'll get my laptop back. I'll move this in my room. You'll no longer hear an echo, and everything will be back to normal. And things will get going. Things will pick up. Everyone will be happy, including me. And yeah, that's the vid. I hit my arm on the table. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that is the video. Uh, I guess I am going to tag Crazy Capper. For some reason, I want to I want to tag my dad, but he doesn't really do YouTube. <laughs> I could I could make him do a little video and record him and then edit it and upload on my channel, but I don't know. Maybe someday I'll do something like that. So I'll, I'll do Crazy Capper, Sky High Entertainment, Demon. I know this is a long shot, but I'm going to tag Markiplier. For anybody watching this, be sure to like and share this video. And maybe even tweet him on Twitter and be like, Hey, this guy tagged you in a thing, you should do it. And hopefully, I don't want it to go viral or anything, but uh, I mean, if it does, great. But I want him to see this, and it would be really cool if he did it. And Mark, if you are watching this, because whatever reasons, um, do it. It's fun. People get to know you a little more. They, most people probably know you a lot already, but do it. And I will probably, if you do do it, I will probably fangirl so hard, go in a corner, and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, so. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I didn't ramble on too long. I have been recording for almost a half hour, so there's gonna be a lot of editing in this. But, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. I am Bearded Kitty, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm kidding, a bad kitty. But